What's up guys, John from JohnMcNeil.com here and today this is going to be a very special video because today in this video I'm going to be answering a question that I literally get almost every single week. Now that question is how long does it actually take to make money online? How long does it actually take to make your first sale online? So all this is dependent upon some different variables that we're going to be digging into in this video. So make sure you stay tuned and stay to the end of it and we're going to be breaking down how long it actually takes for you to actually profit in your online business and make your first sale. We're starting right now. All right, guys, so we're gonna go ahead and jump right into this video. And again, we're gonna be discussing how long does it actually take to make money online. Now, before we actually jump into the content of the video, if this is the very first time you come to my channel, welcome, my name is John, and if you are interested in affiliate marketing and making money from home, be sure to subscribe to the channel by clicking on that little blue John McNeil icon in the right-hand corner of the screen, and click the notification so that you don't miss any of my future videos. Now guys, let's go ahead and jump right into this video. We're gonna be discussing how long it actually takes to make money online. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to give you a little disclaimer first off. So obviously I don't have any kind of crystal ball and I can't tell you exactly the day that you're going to make your first sale or the day that you're going to start profiting online. I can't tell you the day or the time, so I don't have a crystal ball. But what I will do in this video is I'm going to be giving you some information, some data, some numbers, and I'm going to be giving you some averages that I've actually found out during my tenure of doing affiliate marketing that actually makes sense for a lot of different people. So you're going to be able to kind of figure out after watching this whole video where you're going to fall on the spectrum of how long it's actually going to take you specifically to make money online. It's going to be dependent upon the individual and I'm going to jump right into this and explain everything to you. So the first thing I want to do is I want to talk about the odds of you actually making money online. So every single month there's probably hundreds if not thousands of people that actually jump online and they want to make some extra income, some supplemental income, or maybe they want to make a full-time income. And these are kind of the averages and some of the percentages that I've seen over my tenure of doing affiliate marketing. So first of all, you have a small percentage, about 10% of people that will actually make money relatively quickly, maybe within their first three months of joining an online business or starting their online business. Now, some of these people have different skill sets, whether it's web design or graphic design or some sort of marketing skill set. A lot of these people that make money very quickly typically already have kind of a leg up on the competition, so to speak, in that they have some sort of skill set that kind of gives them an extra boost. Now, the next category is what I call about the 30% category, and that's where individuals will actually take six months to years to even make their first sale or make any significant money online. So a lot of people, when they first jump online, there's a lot of different things that you need to learn and different skill sets that you have to learn and implement in your business. So obviously that's going to take some time to develop those skill sets and then implement those skill sets in your business and tweak it to actually make sales and actually make your business profitable. So depending upon what's going on in your life and what type of person you are, are, that could take anywhere between six months to years. And the last category is which I actually call the people that are in the 60% category never actually make any money and they typically will quit before they're even gotten started. So basically they'll join an online business, an MLM, a business opportunity. I try to start their online business and if they don't make instant results or immediate results, they quit. They think that online marketing is a scam and they basically go back to whatever they were doing before or get in a second job and they just give up on their dreams of making money online. Now, me, myself, I fell into to the 30% category um, because when I first started out with my online business, I wasn't very serious about the whole making money online. I knew that it was possible. It, the concept to me was 
proven because I've seen a lot of people and actually knew some people that were making a lot of money online. And I would buy a course here and a course there and join an opportunity here and I'd join an opportunity there. But I really wasn't that serious. And it took me years to really kind of get to the point where I got serious. I kind of got a plan together and I actually started learning some different skill sets and actually implementing these skill sets consistently in my business then I started actually making significant money online. So again, the problem is a lot of people don't have the patience to learn different skill sets. They wanna just kind of jump in online and a lot of it's not your fault because the gurus are actually telling you that it's super easy and you can start making money like right away. So you kind of have this preconceived notions in your head that it's gonna be really easy. So when you actually jump in and it doesn't happen so fast, then you get discouraged and you, you just kind of quit. So you really have to be um, a certain type person to kind of go through all the trials and tribulations and taking the time to actually learn the skill sets and being consistent at your business. And if you can do that for a long period of time, you can actually break through and actually make some money. But these are the kind of percentages that um, typically happen for individuals that are embarking in, in our industry. So the next thing I want to actually discuss is the human factors that come into actually making money online. You see, it's not just skill set. It's not just learning how to build a website or learn how to work your autoresponder. There's different actually human factors involved in you actually making money online. So that's what I want to kind of discuss here next. And the first thing I want to discuss is is mindset. Now, I'm definitely not going to go all Tony Robbins on you guys, but mindset has a huge part on you actually making money online. If you have a poor mindset, if you have a defeatist mindset, and you go into your whole business thinking that it's not going to work, this is a scam, this is stupid, and you're just spending your money and you have that mindset that it's not going to work, then it's not going to work. I mean, you're destined to fail. You cannot go into anything, whether it's online business or anything in your personal life, whether it's a relationship or trying to lose weight and just go into it with this defeatist mindset that you're just going to fail out the gate. You have to be positive. You have to be realistic and you have to be hard working. And that's going to give you the results that you want. You got to be positive, guys. There's going to be some rough patches when you're trying to make money online. But if you you're defeatist and you have this negative attitude right from the get-go, you might as well just quit from the beginning. The second thing I want to talk about is actually time. So we kind of alluded to this in a slide earlier when I was talking about how it took me a while to learn different skill sets. You know, when you're coming online and you don't know how to build a website, you don't know how to work an autoresponder, you don't know how to make a sales funnel, you don't know how to do traffic generation and social media marketing. It takes time to actually learn these skill sets and you have to give yourself some time to do it. You're not going to learn it in a day. You're not going to learn it in a week. You're not going to learn it in a month. It's going to take months for you to learn all these different skill sets. And I look at these skill sets as something that you're going to be learning over time for forever because technology changes. You have to keep up with the technology. And I learn stuff every single day in my business and you're constantly going to be learning but if you're brand spanking new and you all of this stuff is so foreign to you you have to take the time to actually learn this stuff so if you take the time to learn these skill sets it's going to actually set you up for success in your business. Responsibilities also plays a role in you making money online because let's face it, you may have a family, you may have relationships, you may have kids, you have other responsibilities. Maybe you have other financial or personal responsibilities that you have to take care of on a month to month basis that may you know, slow down your rate of being successful online. So all of these things play into part on how long it actually takes you to make Make money. So you got to have the right mindset. You got to take the time out to do the skill set stuff, learn how to build the websites, learn how to do email marketing, traffic generation, etc. And then all of this is going to factor in as how much time do you have to actually put into 
all of this stuff if you have to a lot of responsibilities outside of building your business with your family with your kids or with any other personal things that you may be dealing with within your life so the more time you have to actually focus on your online business obviously you should be able to break through a lot sooner than somebody that has a lot more responsibility so this basically leads me to the two different ways that you can actually start making money online so the first way is what I call the slow and steady way so these are individuals that basically will start out online and typically at some point they will build some sort of website and when they build that website they're going to be learning how to drive traffic to their website to actually make some sort of sale or purchase right so these individuals typically may not have a lot of money or may be apprehensive to spend money um, starting out because they of fear of loss or they may not just have the money in the first place so they're starting out with different free strategies to drive traffic to their business so we're talking about doing like seo maybe you're doing a blog and you're doing uh seo content to drive traffic to your website you could be doing youtube videos creating content on youtube to drive traffic back to your website or different social media platforms like instagram or facebook and what you're going to be doing is you're basically going to be building up one of these platforms or two of these platforms and you're going to be learning how to market learning how to drive traffic to your website to try to make some sales in the process hopefully you're building some sort of email list on your website so you know you can exponentially increase your chances of getting a sales if you actually continue to follow up with individuals that are interested in your products and your services so hopefully you're building a list and and during the process of you're creating all this content, following up with emails, hopefully you're building some trust and rapport with the individuals that are interested in your content because the more trust and rapport you have with those individuals, the easier it is to actually sell them something down the line. So with this slow and steady method, basically it will take you an estimated about three to six months in order to make your first sale. And again, this is all dependent upon the premise that you have a decent amount of time to invest into your online marketing business. You're learning the different skill sets. You're learning how to drive traffic. You learn how to build a website. You're learning how to do email marketing and you're building trust and rapport. This should take you, if you're giving it a, a decent amount of time, about three to six months to actually make your first sale. And this will only cost you about 50 to $100 a month. So on the low end here, it's only going to cost you about $50 a month especially if you're just buying like hosting which is only like $5 a month and maybe you buy like some sort of plug-in like an optimized press to start building pages or you build out a WordPress website you know this is very low cost you can actually have an online business for roughly $50 to $100 a month and you can actually start driving traffic to that website and selling a product and if you're consistent you can actually make your first sale within three to six months now the next way Way to actually make money is the what I call the aggressive and fast way so basically it's the same setup where you would still have to learn how to you know build a website and you're gonna sell a product or a service you're still gonna build an email list and you're still gonna be building some trust and rapport but now you're gonna be getting a little bit more aggressive when it comes to your traffic generation method so you're gonna be doing things like Google AdWords and solo ads and Facebook ads and doing these different traffic Traffic methods you can actually see results a whole lot faster than doing it the slow and steady way so if you're doing these type methods where you're actually learning how to drive fast traffic to your website you know making your first sale can happen very quickly you can make your first sale within the first month and assuming that you're targeted in your advertising campaigns that you did from a paid perspective if you targeted the right group of people then you should actually make a sale relatively quickly with in the first month because these people are more or less interested in your products and services if you target it correctly now if you do it the aggressive and fast way what you have to understand is that you have to be willing to actually spend some money because here's the my caution when it comes to the aggressive and fast method to people that are just starting out so if you're just starting out online and you're gonna go ahead and do you know some pay advertising the problem what happens with newbies is when they first start out, 
they figure, okay, I'm going to do this paid marketing and then I'm going to instantly make a lot of money because I'm going to drive this quick traffic and I'm going to make money. The problem is if you're just starting out, you may not have perfected Google ads. You haven't perfected YouTube ads and it may take you a little while to perfect it or even get it to the point where you're breaking even or actually profiting. So you have to really be cautious when you're doing this because when you first start out, you're blowing through all this money and you're kind of learning while you're blowing through all this money and then you're gonna to get to the point where you're gonna run out of money and you still haven't maybe gotten the results that you actually want. So you have to be really careful when it comes to the aggressive fast method Although this is the best way to actually make money online because you can scale it big. You know, if you can put in $10 and you can make 20, you can put in $100 and you can make 200. This is how you can actually print money. But I still have to caution you if you're brand spanking new and you haven't taken the time to learn the skill sets that you need in order to convert that traffic into actual sales. There's all these little pieces that you have to kind of you know, perfect on the way in order to actually make this a success. So we do a quick little recap here. We talked about the slow and steady method where it may take you three to six months to make your first sale or make any significant money online. And then we talked about the aggressive fast way in which that you could make money very quickly. But I did put that caution in there if you're a brand spanking new because there's so many different things you need to know, so many different variables. And I don't want you to blow all your money so fast while you're first starting out and then you end up quitting. So my recommendation would be to do both of the strategies, a combination of the slow and steady method as well as the paid traffic strategy. So let me go ahead and break down what I mean by that. So you know, if you're just starting out online, I definitely would suggest you, you know, figuring out how you create your website or your sales funnel and then learning how to drive traffic from a social media perspective, um, from a SEO perspective, learn how to blog. Maybe you're going to create YouTube videos. Now, this is going to do a lot of different things for you. It's going to help you learn how to market. It's going to help you learn how to create content that's going to drive people to take action. It's going to build your brand in the industry. It's going to help people trust you and it's going to build rapport with other people, which is going to help you make sales down the line. And then you can be doing that while you're actually doing a little bit of the paid traffic strategies as well. So what I suggest you do in terms of the paid traffic strategy is come up with a budget, right? Come up with a budget and actually break that budget down within a monthly basis. So for instance, say you have a thousand dollars to put into paid advertising for your online business. You don't want to just blow that whole thousand dollars in one single month. Again, why? If you blow all of that money into ads, again, you're gonna be learning. This is a learning process. So you don't wanna take all your whole budget and blow it on one month worth of ads and then you lose that money because you don't know what you're doing. So I would take that thousand dollars and break it up over five months. So then you can say, I can take $200 per month and place that $200 into paid advertising. So I can choose to do Bing ads or YouTube ads or Facebook ads. And as I'm actually learning those different strategies, I'm not blowing my whole wide in one single month. Because in the first month, maybe I throw up my campaign and maybe I don't make any money with that campaign. But the next month I'm learning, I'm tweaking. The following month I'm learning, I'm tweaking. And you get to the point where you're breaking even and you're starting to profit. And then hopefully by the fifth month, when you're putting another $200 into an ad campaign, maybe you perfected Bing ads or you perfected Google ads and now you're actually profiting. Now, once you profit, you can take money out of your profit and reinvest it back into your business and then really scale big, all the while doing some of your slow and steady strategies. You know, you're doing your YouTube marketing or you're creating your few blog posts every week 
and you're combining the two of those to make a powerful online business. So you pick one method for a free traffic strategy, whether that's you know blogging or doing YouTube, you're gonna go full force into learning that skill set of YouTube or blogging or Facebook, whatever you're gonna do, Instagram, you wanna learn it, you wanna buy a couple courses on it, and you wanna perfect it, and you wanna be doing that consistently. And then you want to figure out what is your budget? Do I have $100 a month to spend? Do I have $200 a month to spend? Do I have $50 a month to spend? And you're gonna say, okay, I'm gonna spend $50 a month, $100 a month for the next six months, and I'm gonna perfect one paid traffic strategy. I'm gonna perfect solo ads, I'm gonna perfect Bing ads, I'm gonna perfect YouTube ads, and I have six months or I have a year worth of advertising to figure it out. And I guarantee you over time, you're gonna get better at the, the free traffic methods, you're gonna get better at the paid traffic methods, and over time, you're gonna be able to make a significant amount of money in your online business. So you just have to put in the work, you have to put in the time, and for everybody, it's gonna be different. That's my answer to the, the question. Everybody's gonna be much different in terms of how long it actually takes you to make money online because of all the reasons we talked about in this video. It, the human factors, the time, your responsibilities, your mindset, your skill set, how much money you have, all of these different factors play into how much time it's going to take you. And like I said, for me, it took me years. You know, I made a couple sales here, a couple sales there. I dibbled and dabbled. I really wasn't serious. And it took me years to kind of figure out how I really wanted to kind of position myself online, what I was going to do to actually make some money online, kind of like my whole marketing plan. So it took me years to do. And hopefully it doesn't take you guys that long because you guys are smart and hopefully you're heeding to my advice and other marketers that are out there giving you good advice out here in the affiliate marketing land. So this is John from johnmcneil.com. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you got some value from it, make sure you hit that like button. It actually really helps out the channel. I will actually also have some brand new affiliate marketing training you guys can get in the description of this video. So make sure you go down in the description and get that new training. It's gonna help you build out an affiliate marketing business and start creating passive income for yourself. So this is all I have for this video, guys. We will see you on the next one. Peace.